Ireland, back in a workshop with the lads. My brother Mike has a brand new fresh 2J built and ready to go back in the S14.9, uh, which looks like we'll be using this car in Mondello Park. So it has all new BC bottom end, ACL race series bearings. We're after switching to, to new Goodridge fittings on uh, the plumbing side of things. So top quality, new partner on board this year. And uh, very impressive stuff, isn't it? Yeah, Just the quality cool. is unbelievable. Like, even the way they spin compared to other fittings, it's a different level. So we're really happy to welcome them on board. And we kept Mikey busy while I was yeah. marking Mustangs in America. He's been fixing my crash marks on the, on the car. So the whole rear section is repaired. Um, Harney's made up new crash frame on the back that turned out really good. I pushed over and kinked and Mark, so Mikey and uh, Michael straightened it all. We brought the whole rear of the car back to metal. Mikey repainted it all again, so very happy with the progress. Now it's time to get the engine back in there and uh, get her running. The RS90 also is rebuilt. Thanks to Michael. Uh, this gearbox has been unreal. Just hasn't let us down once and needs a service once a year and that uh, gets us by, so. Right, let's get this girl in. Sweet. She's sitting in there, sweet. Let's start putting it all together. Two and a half minutes. <laughs> Done. Start her off. We have her all pretty much ready to fire up. Just after building up the oil pressure by hand first, no leaks. We built up fuel pressure, no leaks, no water leaks. So everything seems to be uh, good to go. So we'll see if she starts and uh, see how she sounds. Yeah, so everything clear, I'll do a throttle. All right, I'll keep an eye. Fire it easy, you know. Eh? Yeah, it's probably just cold, water pumps working and everything. Yeah, fine. One second. Yeah, no leaks. the results tonight car fired off really nice pretty much ready to go we're gonna go for a test tomorrow make sure everything's good make sure it's feeling good uh, first time driving this car in a, in a few months so I'm looking forward to it just a few small little things to sort in the morning like put on the clear timing cover and uh, just double check a few bits but looking really good uh, we got the new Goodrich hose fittings on there really nice uh, fresh cane and air filter in an oil filter and uh, yeah looking really good we'll be driving it tomorrow without any panels on it which doesn't matter um, as it's just a quick test and then next week we're getting the fresh panels wrapped and get the car freshened up ready for drift masters in just over a week so busy times here but uh looking forward to it here's how she's coming on 
we got all the cowling and stuff to fit in the morning lock up all the open holes and uh, yeah she's really coming together I love how fresh the car looks after uh, after a season off it makes such a, a big difference to uh, give it all a refresh and after the crash as well from last year it's it's as good as new Park at Cart World, uh, Watergrass Hill, my local track, uh, for a quick test in the S14.9 before Drift Masters next week. Um, so, yeah, the car is back together, just give it a quick shakedown, uh, make sure everything is working fine. Uh, windy again, always windy on test days this year. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to giving it a spin. We're going to drive it at low boost for. on the first run. So the car is running nice, we double checked everything. Ready to go. <laughs> in the car everything is working really nice so far um, as I said we have the RPM limit down and the boost turned down but just shaking everything down and getting you the feel of this car again but absolutely no issues so far so very happy we're gonna do one more set of tires and call it a day looking forward to competing in this car again for drift masters
that car again. Looking forward to getting the Falcon wrap on it in the next few days and having her ready for Drift Masters next week. But as we finished up a little bit early, we still have the track to ourselves. Uh, today we were actually timing the car and making adjustments to the car and uh, seeing, you know, making different changes to see how fast we could make the car. And uh, we got to a setup that we think is the fastest for the S14.9. It was through the first uh, three corners. I was drifting in the drift car. And what we're gonna do is take this, my uh, street entry, and try to do a fast lap and see how much faster or slower it is than the drift car drifting. So, uh, very interesting one. E92 M3, it's on BC Kyle Owners. This car before, even sure intake, our performance exhaust. Uh, it's my street car. It's absolutely covered in in dust and stuff on the outside because I wasn't planning to do this, but uh, we just said when we have some time on the track, why not? So we're gonna see how fast it can go on the same track and uh, see how many if it's up or down compared to the drift car, so it'll be interesting. But you're you're cutting the straight so much shorter too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much less dramatic looking. Yeah. <laughs> when you're selling and put that in the Dundee lad, that that that. that <laughs> She's a great yoke. Sounds great. Um, very good. Right, I'll slide her and come in for one lap. So that was actually really good fun, bringing the streetcar uh, out for a couple of laps. Uh, we did a few fast laps and then, uh, oh, had a drift lap at the end, but quite a bit of work comparing to the drift car, drifting a streetcar. Uh, no handbrake, so like I was shift locking the car into first gear, coming into the airpins and then selecting second to get the drive out. Uh, it was really good fun, I enjoyed it. Um, I must actually take this car to the airport in a minute because I'm flying out to Memphis tomorrow uh, meeting the RTR team. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. So in the times it was actually 0.8 of a second slower than drifting the track in a drift car. So, and that's just the first uh, three corners. And that's, that's quite interesting because obviously when you're drifting, you're using different wider lines. It's a longer way around the track. Um, but yeah, I thought it was good fun. Right, let's wrap it up, get everything loaded and on the way to the airport.